Hello everyone, Lorenzo here. We're on the grid in this Ferrari GT3 challenge race. We're racing at Rootskogen Motor Center today and I managed to qualify in P6 and this is actually very important because at this track it's going to be very very difficult to overtake so a good qualifying position was very very important to achieve. We've just started our pace lap, this is going to be a 15 minute race. Let's try and retain our position and hopefully try and get into the top 5 here. So let's try and keep it clean and uh, let's see what we can do. And actually the choice of this combination this week was done by my channel members. So if you want to help me shape the content of the channel, if you want to pitch in your ideas and uh, your votes uh, regarding which uh, cars and tracks I drive, then consider becoming a channel member for this as well as other perks. And if you don't, of course, that's also absolutely fine. Even just you watching this video really supports me. And if you do enjoy it, just consider leaving a like or leaving a comment, uh, letting me know your thoughts about this race. We're about to go green, so like Jim says, let's concentrate, let's try and get a good start here. 15 minutes, you really need to get on with it. Here we go. There's already crashing next to me. Go. Oh. 15 minutes left. My timing was a bit poor. We're on the outside for turn one. Left side. We're gonna have to give a bunch of space. I was basically shoved off track there. Oh, and that gave me a two second... I got a two second slowdown. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. You need to slow down and give back some time. So already here I'm faced by a pretty big challenge. I need to try and serve this slowdown in the most efficient way possible. I cannot believe I got a two and a half second slowdown. I mean, I had nowhere else to go. Uh, it was not a decent start, Jim. It was a pretty poor start. Come on. Okay, the slowdown is gone. I'm closing the door here because I see the guy behind is trying to shape in to make a move. I think we lost quite a few positions. But all things considered, this could have gone worse. Another off track. The combination is challenging on cold tires, so I'm just happy to be alive right now. But let's try and uh, limit the excess from here on out. All right, let's get stuck in, guys. Let's see where we are. Seventh position. So. It actually didn't go as bad as I thought it would. We only lost one position. It did feel like a worse uh, lap one than that. So let's regroup and let's try to improve from here. All right, everyone. Let's check out some of the hot moments from the first lap. Right at the beginning, my entry into turn one was too wide because I was trying to leave enough space for car number 12. Heading into turn two, I was unfortunately locked outside of the track. I had no real choice here but to take the slowdown penalty. Fortunately, getting rid of it wasn't too bad. And that was definitely on me. I should have stayed tighter at turn one. And on this track, turn one causes a huge bottleneck. As you can see, the concertina effect is extremely strong and many drivers almost come together, but actually they all managed to get through, except for one, Sebastian Michels, who unfortunately had to retire from the race. But actually, except for this incident, everybody else had a relatively clean lap 1. And alright everybody, let's rejoin the live action in lap 3. Now bear in mind that on this track it's very important to cut as much of the curbs as possible. However, if you're not careful, it's very easy to get a slowdown. This track is all about patience with your throttle, modulating well, cutting these curbs but not too much, and there you go, there comes another slowdown penalty. Oh, that is not I good. I need to lose another second. Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. P6. 
I'm really trying to do this in the most efficient way possible. Guy behind me is getting a little bit impatient, but okay, we got rid of that one too. I really need to try and not get any slowdown penalties anymore. Let's see if we can uh, catch up to the guys ahead now. And in the meantime, at the back of the pack, it's grief for Anton Begunov. The driver with car number 3 suffers a spin out of turn 12. If you race this combination this week, be careful about this corner, it's so easy to oversteer here. It happened to me in practice many times. It's truly, truly hard to overtake at this track. Especially in these wide and powerful GT3 cars. So we're really gonna have to try and stay as close as possible and basically force mistakes. Put pressure on the, on the drivers ahead. Incident ahead? Oh, what is he doing? So we managed to get around that guy, but we we went wide. You need to give back the time gained. And that means that I picked up another slowdown penalty, which I've managed to get rid of once again Calculate. in a somewhat efficient way. Let's check out what happened there. This was a battle between Yoko Otaki and Nicolas Toussaint, respectively in P1 and P2. And coming into turn 11, Toussaint in P2 rear ends Yoko, causing him to spin and parking his car in the middle of the track. Fortunately, he held his brakes and he didn't move, and we could get by safely. And that is not the only freebie that we would get. In lap 6, Kikol ahead of me seems to have disconnected from the race. So, with him gone, I am now chasing Gomez, and I am now in P5. It is imperative now that I try and hold this position to try and secure a top 5 in this very challenging race. Hopefully he doesn't reappear into my own car. My pace is actually good when I am uh, precise. I am not losing time to the guy behind. It's just really all about precision here. We managed to reel Gomez back in. And I think that there's potential here for a nice battle towards the end of this race. He gets out of shape there. We're right behind him. Let's try and put some pressure on him. At the same time, I don't want him to slow me down and push me back into Best, who's chasing me. Now, one and a half seconds clear. We're getting a, a lot of time on the guys behind, which is really great to see. But this is going to be all about whether we can Five minutes remaining. Five minutes left. either very surgically try and do an overtake in a clean way at the right moment, in the right corner, or potentially just putting him under so much pressure that he makes a mistake. Speaking of making mistakes, Christoph Lambert running in P12 during lap 7 hits the grass at the exit of turn 8 and unfortunately loses the rear and ends up hitting his Ferrari into the barrier. And the red everybody, with two minutes to go, we're still chasing Gomez ahead. We, we've come to a bit of a halt in our battle two minutes left. Two minutes to, go. to try and uh, push further into the top five. Unfortunately, our paces are quite similar, and even though I have a little bit of a pace advantage, there is just not the right opportunity to overtake anywhere here on this track, unfortunately. Unless I manage to force a mistake or get a lot closer to him, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to advance anymore. So right now, I'm also just thinking about trying to secure my position, which would already ensure quite a good result. And keeping the car under control as much as possible in this relatively slippery track. Last lap of the race, guys.
and the right everybody I really did my best but unfortunately we will not be able to dig any deeper than this and as we cross the finish line we are going to be finishing this race in p5 guys okay. i have to say i'm very happy about this result uh i was a bit nervous about this race due to the combination it is a very very challenging combination uh because the cars are very powerful the track is very twisty and it's really difficult to overtake this um, series is also quite notorious for uh, the low uh, driving standards and uh, the high amount of crashes that happen in every race. But fortunately, I have to say that we didn't really see that much, uh, uh, that much carnage in this race. It was actually relatively clean, at least that's ahead of us. Um, so yeah, four X's, which all things considered, I'm actually uh, quite comfortable with. Uh, maybe a few too many slowdown penalties, but in the end, we got in the top 5 and uh, all is well. I do want to say, if you try this combination this week, really make sure that you get the best qualifying position that you can get. And uh, just really be patient. Be patient with other drivers. Be patient with your inputs. Never too much, never too little. It's one of these combinations where you really want to try and finesse as much as possible. And with that, I really, really hope that you enjoyed, guys. If you did, please consider leaving a like, consider subscribing, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.